Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share another folio project with you. This project was created using the new Authentique Pastimes collection. Um, this collection was given to me by Tamara from Country Craft Creations. Thank you, Tamara. So I created one of the uh, folios that are that is exactly like the recipe folio. However, I used this paper collection, which is a travel-themed paper. On the front cover, I layered some of the design papers, and I will be honest with you, this uh, paper was quite a challenge for me to work with. So anyway. I hope you like it. <laughs> she did give me one of these really cute Disney themed little keys. Um, there is some vintage Disney in here uh, on the front cover. I layered some of the uh, elements here. One of the papers had some vintage tickets on it so I just made a little belly band here and then fussy cut some of these from the papers and then put them on some black cardstock and just tuck those in behind here. Same with this element right here. All I used was the 12 by 12 collection kit as well as the sticker sheet. This is one of the stickers that I put on some black cardstock and then put it on some dimensional foam tape. Here's the one spine, here's the back, and here are the other small spines. So you open it up and on the inside front cover where the magnets are, again this is a newsprint collection here and then another small graph paper with a ferris wheel, looks like California Disney I think, but not sure. Another sticker from the sticker sheet here and same with this one and same with this one right here and here. So then you open it up and on this side I went ahead and made a couple of pockets here. I created some tags with the leftover papers. Again, there's some cute little vintage station wagon here. It says road trip and then they're playing on the back. Another sticker from the sticker sheet. Really pretty wood grain paper here. And then another large photo mat right here. And this is uh, part of the leftover paper from the front cover. And another little sticker right here. Cute little arrow. So again, um, very road trippy type paper, vintage. So I have some um, papers right here and then I did leave the um, photo mats blank. I haven't quite sure yet what I want to put on them but um, this is the size here. So those go in there and then on the back again some more of the same paper that was on the front with the, um, the Route 66 and some newsprint and some more vintage images. Over here again I have some more um, I think this is supposed to be like a brick or a stone paper. Some more wood grain paper, another sticker from the sticker sheet that's shaped like a tag, and then um, I just threaded a piece of cardstock through it, flagged the ends, and another sticker from the sticker sheet. And on the back there is some brick paper here, and again another sticker right here and here. And then over here we have the brick paper with some more vintage metal signs that are supposed to look like metal signs, I think, anyway, displayed on the top of it, which I have a camping theme. And then um, campgrounds and that sort of thing. And then on the back over here we have um, a newspaper ad type paper with uh, vintage travel trailers and all that sort of stuff right here. And on the back inside cover again another sticker from the sticker sheet. Right here this is one of the cutouts from the 12x12 collection, one of the 4x4 cutouts. And then I made some tags to go in there. And again these were just leftover pieces from the paper. Cute little trip notes. I thought that was kind of cute. And then some vintage license plates. So over here, these are the photo sleeves, and then I just added um, some of the 3x4 cards and then left these space, spaces blank for photos. Cute little travel log here, and then the same here, and this one, and this one, and this one, and then on the back inside cover, this is the key paper, again with another sticker from the sticker sheet. And the last section has the accordion large pocket. Again I layered some more of the paper, the wood grain, and um, this is the reverse of the wood grain which has the vintage station wagons. Some more stickers from the sticker sheet right here and here, and then it has a magnet closure right here and again some more vintage license plates. So there you go, that is my Authentic Pastimes folio that I created and thank you again Tamara from Country Craft Creations. There you have it, thanks for watching. Bye!